Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Awesome. Did you have a good day? Are you happy because it's the last day of classes? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm happy too. And I hope that you all have finished the platform. Do you have pending exercises? Yes. So you haven't finished or you finished the platform? Finish. Excellent. That's nice. Thank you. Did you download your certificate? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Um, did you check your name? The dates are correct? Yes, teacher. It's correct. Awesome, perfect. And that's an advice for all of you. When you download your certificate, please check that your name is written properly and the dates are correct. So, um, and if you haven't done it, if you haven't finished, remember that today is the last day and that should be completed in order for not having issues then with your certificate or with your next module. So um, let's just start. I already sent the presentation like an hour ago. Uh, let me share my screen with you. Okay, we have, um, well, we practice, uh, this is where we stopped yesterday and today we're going to practice a little bit more speaking. Uh, so we have these questions and we're, we're going to be using years because sometimes I know it is difficult to use uh, this kind of vocabulary, especially with years. So remember that you can, uh, when you're saying years, you can say the whole thing and remember that los miles son thousand. For example, here, that would be 1,000. 906, 1,986, or 2,000, 2,001, 2,010. Y también, pues, para hacerlo más fácil, los pueden dividir. Por ejemplo, si ven la primera, está dividido en, como decir, uh, 19, 6, 1906. El segundo, 19 como 19 y 86, el 86. También se pueden dividir así los años. Uh, es la manera en que se pueden decir. Luego abajo en los últimos dos tenemos 2001 y el N está entre paréntesis porque lo podemos omitir. No es necesario mencionar N. Podríamos perfectamente decir 2001. And that's not a problem. It doesn't hurt if you leave the end or if you uh, omit it. That's okay. And so in these questions that we have in the left-hand side of the screen, you will see that for all of them, I think, yes, you're going to use years to answer these questions. Let's practice pronunciation first. When were you born? When was your father born? When was your mother born? When did you turn 13? Oscar is like, ya está haciendo las cuentas, Oscar. <laughs> no, teacher. I what do you mean and when did you turn 13? That would be, if, uh, sería como decir en español, cuando cumpliste 13? Mm -hmm. El last year. No, o sea que ya tiene 14 años. <laughs> no. <laughs> ¿Cuándo, <laughs> ¿Cuándo cumplió 13 años? ¿En qué año usted cumplió 13 años? A eso ah. se refiere esta pregunta. When did you turn 13? 
Vamos a tener que usar la calculadora, ¿verdad? No, 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 guay. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Number five. When did you start high school? I don't remember. Vamos a hacer el ejercicio. Now, when did you begin to study English? That, I think that's the easiest one. <laughs> When did you begin to study English? I'll, I'll give you a couple of minutes. Le voy a dar un par de minutos para que eh, contesten las preguntas antes de ir a los breakout rooms, ¿verdad? para que empecemos a hacer las cuentas. Sacar la calculadora. In my case, teacher, I forget, I forgot when my mom, when my mom was born. So. Maybe you can just calculate. It is not necessary to uh, to give the exact date. Eh, no lo vamos a saber. Me, mejor es como calcular. Por ejemplo, yo sé perfectamente cuando nació mi mamá. My mother was born in 1954. But my father, I don't know, but I can uh, make like an estimated my and say my father was born in 1945, for example, like an estimated. We have to make up. Yes. Make it up, make it up. Yes, in order to practice, just to practice. <laughs> <laughs> 